All righty, so we have a pretty interesting construction update for you guys today. Um, we tried to get different angles of construction with the drone. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to show you the big orange highlighted area um, from anywhere successfully. We really tried. I thought we'd be able to get it from the park um, across the street from the highway if we just went up vertically, but the angle and the height just isn't enough, the legal height, to get a good shot of that. So we won't be able to show you it. But there is construction equipment down over in the Whitewater Canyon area. So if you look at this map that I have for you right now, you have blue, yellow, and orange. So blue is current construction going on right now for the year 2020. So you have the cliff jumping and splash works and the kids ride over in Kidsville. Both areas have been land cleared successfully for about a week or two now. Um, so none of the current land clearing is involved in those attractions in yellow. You have the new YRT um, station. I'm guessing that's going to open up in 2021, but it could open up in late 2020 based on how quickly they move. And in orange, you have the Whitewater Canyon area where construction equipment is being um, stored currently in a specific area. And then you have some land clearing in the park's main electrical unit area as well. So right here on the drone, as you can see, um, there are two bulldozers parked there, and uh, they've started bulldozing some land, um, which is quite interesting. Obviously, a coaster is not going on this plot of land, but what is interesting is this is, from what I understand, the park's main electrical unit that's connected to the grid. Um, so that's what's interesting. And again, um, there's a lot of assumptions that are being made right now. Um, for the future of Canada's Wonderland in this video. So please take everything I say with a huge grain of salt because this is a little quicker than I was anticipating um, a mock double launch, to be honest. So um, the reason I just mentioned mock double launch just out of nowhere and the reason I'm telling you to take this with a huge grain of salt is I honestly did think um, we were going to see either a mock double launch or a wing coaster next at Canada's Wonderland. I did truthfully think that a wing coaster was very possible at Canada's Wonderland just due to the capacity. Um, it's one of the highest capacity rides at Cedar Point, and I honestly thought that Wonderland would be eyeing some of the similar things about that ride for Canada's Wonderland, and I honestly thought they would just go down the wing coaster route. But with them upgrading the electrical grid, um, for those of you that don't know what's been going on at Canada's Wonderland, they've been upgrading the electrical work at Canada's Wonderland for about a year and a half now. There's a permanent office right next to Mindbuster's Break Run. If you've seen any of our construction updates, I'll get a try and get a glimpse here. You can see a little group of cars there, and there's a little um, construction office. That's for a construction company that's been working on the electrical for the park for quite some time. They've had a lot of problems with electrical, and from what I know and have heard and seen, they've sorted those problems out. They were able to successfully run Winterfest. They hooked up Yukon Striker with the upgrades that they did to the electrical grid. Um, now what's interesting is there's a big um, possible uh, improvement to the electrical grid and the main component of it. Now, this is where the assumption comes in. Are they upgrading the main electrical unit of the park to be able to handle another launch coaster? One could probably assume that might be the case, again, keywords might, um, because from what we know about launch coasters is they require some of the most electrical um, abilities out of a park. So from what I've heard, Wicket Twister takes up the most electricity at Cedar Point, and it's such a small coaster. So one could assume that there needs to be a major upgrade to the electrical unit to handle a launch coaster down the road, and seeing work now... Um, would make sense if we're due for a coaster in 2022 or 2023. Um, so I think that this is all aligning, and I think that the original prediction of a coaster coming in 2022 and 2023 is looking to be progressing at that nice rate. So where construction equipment is currently being stored is on the turnaround of Mindbuster. There is a bulldozer, and then on the other side of that big little forest in between that massive pond for Whitewater Canyon... There is an excavator and some tractors being stored there as well. And it looks like there may have been some work. I can't confirm that. Um, and there's a lot of rock work um, being stored back there now, too, that's piling up. So it is starting to get interesting. We're going to keep an eye on that area. We have been, from what we've been hearing, um, sorry, I'll word it that way. From what we've been hearing, um, we're going to want to keep all of our eyes on the Whitewater Canyon Forest and Action Theater plot of land, not including the Action Theater building. That is from what I've been Hearing going to stay, but you're going to be wanting to keep your attention on that area over the next two to three years. 
um, we should start seeing signs pop up. But right there is a good view right next to my Buster's Break one. That is an electrical company's office um, that is working with Wonderland to upgrade all the electrical. And uh, I mean, yeah, it, it's looking like a launch coaster might um, be a possibility in the future. But again, that doesn't dictate that a launch coaster is for sure coming to Canada's one. So I do want to make that clear. Again, as I said earlier, take this information with a grain of salt. And there's going to be a lot of assumptions made in this video. But based off of what we've been hearing, you know, a mock double launch coaster is very possible for Canada's Wonderland's future. A lot of you might have been confused by our what if videos. So those coaster models that you're seeing on our what if series are, again, what if. Um, but uh, the two coaster models that are most likely in Canada's Wonderland's nearest future are a wing coaster and a mock double launch. And then we know that we're eventually most likely, again, assumptions, going to get a ground up RMC at some point. That would round out the coaster lineup at Canada's Wonderland really well. But it is really exciting to see. Um, another thing I wanted to discuss is um, in 2021, you're going to have Cedar Point and Kings Dominion getting coasters, which knocks out two of their bigger parks. Um, and Kings Island is this year for 2020, which means that Canada's Wonderland and Carowinds um, are going to be due in 2022, 2023 for a coaster. So one could assume that, you know, Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland are going to be getting a coaster in that time frame as we are sister parks and we do kind of get coasters around the same time frame. So I wouldn't be surprised that um, we are going to start seeing work for coasters. I've completely left out the progress over at the... Uh, Cliff jumping experience coming to Splash Rex right there. As you can see, that's what's being done. Um, it's moving along nicely, and there's a good team. Um, I believe it's Bet's Pools actually doing it. We saw those vehicles coming and leaving Wonderland. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this quick construction update. I wanted to give you guys a little update um, and uh, why we're seeing 2022, 2023 for Canada's Wonderland. And we're seeing prep work so early. It does add up. Electrical is going to obviously need to be a huge upgrade if it is a launch coaster. Um, and it Cedar Fair definitely plans these coasters five years, four to three to five years in advance. So this is all adding up nicely. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this construction update on Canada's Wonderland. Um, and uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below what you think might be going on at Canada's Wonderland. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.